so as a kid, I was a, a fan of ancient animals. Uh, I think I liked the furry ones a little bit more than the dinosaurs, but you know, uh, they were both attractive. The woolly mammoth is a cultural favorite, a long extinct animal that can still capture the imagination. We commonly accept the woolly mammoth became extinct at the end of the last ice age 10,000 years ago due to a combination of climate change and human hunters. But suddenly, this loss might not be permanent. There are a handful of projects across the globe working to bring extinct animals back from the dead. They call it de-extinction. What I would emphasize in de-extinction is de-extinction of DNA, not so much of species. Leading one of those projects is Dr. George Church, a professor of genetics at Harvard University. He's a genius. This is the tRNA that I saw to as a, help solve as a teenager. To create new mammoths, Dr. Church started with a close relative. Then he made some key changes to its genome. Our lab and others have developed a whole variety of genome engineering tools. One of them is CRISPR. The way that CRISPR works is that you, you calculate in the computer a particular set of 20 ACs, Gs, and Ts in a row, and then the CRISPR protein cuts, and then that cut alters the gene. In this case, we've already edited 15 genes, and we're well on our way to doing another 30-some genes um, that have been selected to specifically help the modern Asian elephant survive in uh, more environments than it currently have, particularly cold environments. De-extinction has plenty of detractors. They feel it provides an all too convenient backup plan to habitat destruction that humanity has caused. And more practically, where do we put resurrected animals that no longer have a natural habitat? Dr. Church has a place in mind for that part. The tundra which is one of the largest gigantic ecosystem uh, throughout the, the top of the world, uh, is melting. The soil is very thick, full of carbon and melting. And if that carbon escapes, it could uh, it be equivalent to twice the carbon in the atmosphere and twice the carbon in all the forests. So what, do, what, do the ele what could elephants do? By allowing uh, cold-resistant elephants or mammoths to, to repopulate the tundra, they will punch down the snow in the wintertime, allowing cold air to come in. And in the summertime, they'll knock down trees, which are very absorbent, and release the grasses from, their, from the dead grass so they grow well and reflect light. When you simulate this with real ecosystem in Siberia, the temperature drop is 20 degrees which is a really big deal in terms of delaying or you know, the, the release of carbon by melting. Proponents of de-extinction believe that bringing back the mammoth would represent a turning point for what we can do with genomes and the positive effect our work with genomes can have on the world around us. And of course, it would give us the chance to say hello to an old friend. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.